Hello and welcome to Neha's Cookhouse with Shahi Tukda. Shahi Tukda is a rich Indian dessert which has its roots in Mughlai cuisine. It's made by frying bread slices and soaking them in a sugar syrup and usually served with rabri. Spices like cardamom powder, saffron and dry fruits give it a heavenly taste. So let's look at the ingredients to start making it. 4 bread slices, 5 cups milk, 1 cup water, 1 cup sugar, 1/2 cup khoya, 1/4 cup clarified butter, 2 tablespoon corn flour, 1/2 teaspoon cardamom powder, 2 tablespoon chopped almonds. 2 tablespoon chopped pistachio, half teaspoon saffron strands, 2 teaspoon rose water. First, we will start with preparing sugar syrup. For this, add one cup of sugar and one cup of water in a pan. Stir the mixture and let it boil on high heat. After getting one boil, turn off the heat as we don't want the syrup to be too thick. Now, let's start preparation for rabri. For this, take few saffron strands in a small bowl. Add few spoons of milk. and mix it slightly to get a smooth and thick texture of rabri now we will make corn flour paste for this take corn flour in a small bowl add 3 4 tablespoon of water and mix it well now take a deep pan add milk and saffron mixture we made earlier you can also add one to two drops of yellow food color to give it a bright yellowish color now turn on the heat and let the mixture boil on high heat till it gets a boil when it's about to get a boil put heat to medium and add grated khoya cardamom powder and stir it well if you don't have khoya you can also use half cup of condensed milk now boil till milk becomes little dense and reduce to around 3 cups Just make sure to keep stirring in between so that milk doesn't stick to the bottom or spill out. After that add corn flour mixture in the pan. Keep stirring while adding corn flour to avoid getting any lumps. Now put the heat to low and let it boil for another 5 minutes to get the right texture. You can see that mixture has become little thick and this is the color and consistency we wanted. At last add pistachio almonds rose water and mix them well now switch off the heat and let the rabri sit to cool down now let's move to the next step to prepare bread for shahi tukda there are two ways to prepare it first is to just toast them with clarified butter in a hot pan like this from both sides or you can also use a toaster When toasted to this color, remove them in a plate to use them later on. Now the second method is to shallow fry them. For this take quarter cup of clarified butter in a small pan and heat it on a medium heat. Check if ghee is hot enough by dipping a corner of bread. If it sizzles, it means ghee is ready to fry. Now add bread and fry them from both sides. Keep flipping from both sides till you get a beautiful brown color. This is the color we want. Be careful not to over fry them. When fried enough, remove them in a plate. When breads are still hot, dip them in sugar syrup we made earlier. Let them soak in syrup for 5 minutes while flipping couple of times. After 5 minutes, remove all bread pieces and arrange them in a bowl. Now pour the rabri we made earlier and further garnish with sliced pistachios and almonds to give a majestic look. Now our super delicious shahi tukda dish is ready to enjoy. This tastes so good. I would say one of the best dessert to try at home. It uses basic kitchen ingredients so you can easily make it at home without much effort. Serve it to your guest and family during festivals or any time of the day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you want to try more recipes, please click on above videos. Have a healthy eating.